welcome to chemistry lover and uh, here i am going to discuss so one uh, question on neighboring group participation and bridging carbocation so this question is very interesting and i already uploaded the question in the commentary tab and also in the social media platform now i am going to solve this question so you can see these two uh, isomers are given this one and this one the only difference here is in one case the oh is in the uh, top side and in one case it is in the bottom and both are treated with bacl brosyl chloride it is same like tosyl chloride the use is same and in presence of pyridine so what will be the product and uh, let me tell you that uh, i have given four options but i am not showing the options here you can show uh, watch that in the thumbnail or in the community tab so now let me solve that how you can uh, analyze the problem actually so first of all we have to look into the uh, substrate of what is given so this one uh, it is given in a certain orientation but i will write down in my preferential form so that i can visualize the molecule in proper way so this is basically this segment if you look carefully uh, this segment is basically a cyclohexane uh, system which is in the chair form and let me draw it uh, again so i will draw it in the usual chair form so that i can analyze the question uh, more easily and this is how it is represented and here you will have two methyl groups one axial another equatorial now this oh is in the top side means it is in the axial position like this oh okay and this one i have to so these two bonds this one and this one they both are axial bonds okay so they will be like this they will be like this both are in axial position okay now when this is treated treated with bscl uh, uh, similarly like tosyl chloride this oh will attack on this bs and what you will get is i am not writing down it again so i will write it here so after the treatment with bscl in presence of pyridine what you will get you are going to get this thing bs now you have to find out the bond which is actually uh, anti parallel to this particular bond so that uh, that bond can displace this obs okay now you can see these two this one is axial and this one is also axial so they are anti parallel to one another and this can migrate over here to displace this obs group okay so from that what you will get you will get a bridging carbocation how it will look like so it will look like something like this so here you have the cyclohexane framework and now i will use different color for this so this bond is intact but now you will have dotted bond with other two centers like this why because it is a bridging carbocation okay so it is migrating that's why these bonds are now dotted bonds okay these are now dotted bonds and here you have these two uh, methyl groups as usual like this so that means now what happened so now this center is binding both with this one and this one now let me uh, give number so let's say this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six so all six carbon i marked now i will um, rotate the structure so if i rotate the structure uh, how i will get it so the same structure can be represented like this okay so the same structure uh, let me draw it in proper way the drawing does not look good so it will look something like this okay now uh, let me give the number so if i rotate it this one will be on this side and then this will be two this will be three this will be four this will be five this will be six right now you can see uh, this one has a bond like this and which is bounded to both uh, both 5 and 4 so this 5 and 4 will be bounded to it so let me use different color for that uh, if I use different color how I will get it so it will have bond with both this 4 and 5 position like this and your uh, two methyl groups will be on the 6 position here this okay now your uh, nucleophile that is what is the nucleophile so in this step obs uh, goes and this is the same nucleophile which will attack here so this obs now can attack on both side that is here and here but if it attacks on the same position that is on position 4 you are going to get the same product 
but if it attacks on five position what you will get if it attacks on five position five then you are going to get this thing so here you will have the obs and this two methyl groups so this is the product of your reaction you will get out of this reaction and this one is uh, stable compared to this one that's why you will get this as your product um, otherwise uh, obs would attack on four and you would get the starting material back but you will not get that you will get this product because this is a good situation and you will get this as your product so first uh, uh, from the first uh, compound you will get this one now uh, let us see what we can get for second one when the oh group is uh, at the bottom side so again i will draw it in the um, conventional cyclohexane form because by that we can visualize the molecule easily so this is the thing and here you have two axial bonds like this now in this case the obs will be here so in the previous case the obs was in axial position but now the obs is in equatorial position why because it is in the bottom side right so you can see uh, this structure this o oh is in the bottom side so that means this obs will also be in the bottom side and that is actually the alpha form or the equatorial form now if you look carefully you can see this bond is actually anti parallel to this bond so that means this will migrate now and if this migration occurs what you will get you will get another bridging carbocation but this time it is different and how we can represent it so we can represent it like this uh, this and this bottom part will be as it is now this will be bounded both with these two positions okay so this is the thing so here you have positive charge here i forgot to give the positive charge so here you have the positive charge now you can see this center is bounded to both this center and this center and uh, if we uh, give the numbers so uh, how we can give the number so let's say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 so let's say these are the numbers so now as we have given the numbers for uh, different carbon atoms we can represent the structure in a different form like the previous one how we can do it so this is how we will represent one of the cyclic uh, part and uh, now uh, if you look carefully so we have to number it so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and from carbon 1 you can see this is one bond right so let me draw it so this is one bond from uh, car, uh, from so actually i did a mistake in numbering so i have to number it like so let me erase this part so this is the six i have to erase actually uh, six will be this one so six will be this one because we are considering this green part we are not taking this so this one actually will be seven okay and uh, let me give the number seven here so this is carbon seven now this carbon seven is bounded both to uh, five and four so we have to make these bonds but these are dotted bonds because it is a bridging carbocation yeah so this this is how this seven is bounded and also this seven contains two methyl groups so it contains two methyl groups like this okay now on this particular uh, intermediate this is a bridging carbocation and on this bridging carbocation now similarly obs the obs can attack uh, let me yeah so this bs obs it can attack either from 5 or from 4 position and based on that you will get two, two products but think about attack on 4 if it attacks on 4 you will get back the same thing but what about if it attacks on 5 so if it attacks on 5 what you will get is you will get something like this so here you will have the obs right so this will be your product now in the option whatever i have given in the question in the thumbnail or in the commentary tab you can see the option was given like this so this part is all fine but this obs was given here okay this was the option and i am talking about option d which is the correct answer in the in the thumbnail or in the community tab but uh, i didn't get it through this uh, mechanism 
but in the co in the book i have taken this problem from carry sunberg part a and in that book in the exercise part this problem was given but in that problem they have given this as the answer i mean they didn't mention the mechanism uh, it is like you have to predict the mechanism but they have given this as the correct answer but you can see uh, through this mechanism we cannot get it but we can get this one i think they did some mistake or if you find any mistake in my mechanism you can let me know in the comment section uh, your opinion is uh, always welcome so uh, whatever i got is i think this would be the correct answer that is uh, this obs will be on this carbon atom and not on this carbon atom but again in the book it is given like this so uh, the option d will be the correct answer and this is how uh, by looking at the proper uh, orientation and geometry of your uh, structure you can uh, get uh, this type of uh, answers and you have to solve these questions like this so i hope that this video will help you uh, thank you for watching and if you want more videos like that subscribe this channel and also let me know in the comment section that uh, how was the video so that's all